Doing this simple practice every single day has the power to transform your skin. I'm telling you this because it's worked for me over the years. I've been doing this for a while now and I've seen how much it's helped me clear my acne up. And today I'm gonna be bringing it to you in this video. Let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome back to a new video. Thank you so much for being here. If this is your first time here on my channel, welcome. My name is Kat. I'm a holistic nutritionist and in this channel, I help you heal acne naturally, holistically, so from the inside out. And today's video is definitely going to be along those terms because we're going to be talking about emotional freedom technique, aka EFT, aka tapping. There's a whole bunch of names, but pretty much it's just a practice that helps you relax your nervous system and helps you remove a lot of stagnant energy and it involves the meridians. We speak a lot about the meridians here on my channel, but if you don't know what EFT is, it's okay because I'm going to be explaining it more in a second. I do want to reveal this announcement that I wrote on the title. If you are a part of my email list or if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen it, but you know I got to bring it here on my channel because you guys are so important to me. This is really where all of this started is here on my YouTube channel. But the big announcement is that I am coming out with my first online course. It's called Holistically Healthy Skin, and it's gonna be a guide on how to heal acne holistically. You know that's how I was able to heal my chronic cystic acne that took over my face for years. I am so excited for this course. I feel like it's the perfect time to do it. So many of you just want more information, want me to guide you more on how to heal your skin. And everything that I'm gonna be talking about in this course course I go through with my one-on-one -on -one sessions so it's gonna be so much good information on gut healing hormone health skin products of course recipes tutorials just so much good shit I'm so excited for it if you want to learn more about it and if you want to be notified when this course becomes available which by the way it's coming out this spring um, I'm gonna leave a wait list down below that you can just sign your name on so you can be notified when this course becomes available all right let's get into today's topic what exactly is emotional freedom technique what's EFT what's tapping if you've never heard about it before it's based Basically, this practice where you tap your way through meridians so if you don't know what meridians are they're basically these um, energy channels that run through your entire body the top of your head you know your chest your face everywhere you have these meridian points it's very popular in Chinese medicine and the idea is that we're tapping while we're saying like these mantras while we're kind of like identifying these blocks that we have and we're releasing that stagnant energy that surrounds these blocks so for example today we're going to be doing it for acne right acne is a complicated thing because we focus we tend to focus a lot on skincare products on you know what's the right cream to kind of heal my acne when in reality it's so much more than that it really goes so deeper than just the products you put on your skin. If you follow my channel, then you know that's exactly what we talk about. And the reason why emotional freedom technique or tapping EFT can help is because it allows your body to release stress, tension, um, emotional distress. Because acne is such an emotional response that it really helps your body relax, be in this calm state, be in this parasympathetic state when we are in this parasympathetic state it basically means that our body is able to just relax and heal itself in EFT by doing these tappings it's almost kind of like we're tapping into our subconscious mind our subconscious mind is really where all of our belief systems the things that we do day to day that we don't even realize we're doing that's where all of that lives and not only is this practice so healing for your stress levels but like i said it helps you tap into yourself a little bit further and that's why i love eft another reason why i really like this practice is because it forces you to acknowledge how you're feeling right now so for example i feel like the culture we're living in right now it's like oh positive vibes only like don't bring your negativity to me which you know i understand like people want to feel a certain type of way but i feel like that also makes us neglect how we truly feel inside there's nothing wrong with 
feeling sad, you know, feeling angry, um, feeling depressed sometimes. Like, we have to kind of like normalize that not everything's peaches and roses all day long, you know? Like, we're human beings, we're complex, we go through things, and that's okay. And EFT really encourages you to acknowledge that negative, um, if you want to call it that, that kind of like negative space of like, hey, even though I have acne, I still love appreciate and accept myself of course this can be hard for some people because having acne it's just like a whole other type of insecurity that comes along with it and we've spoken about that so many times here on my channel and if you're dealing with that right now that i that i can totally relate to you but eft acknowledges that okay even though i have this you know and even though it frustrates me it's it's still okay i really hope i'm doing a good job explaining this but just in case you're still confused i'm just going to read what tapping solutionfoundation.org has to say about eft the practice consists of tapping with your fingertips on specific meridian points while walking through traumatic memories and a wide range of emotions meridian points are certain points that can be mapped out through your body Energy circulates through your body along these specific networks of channels. You can tap into this energy at any point along the system. All negative emotions are felt through a disru disruption of the body's energy. The body, like everything in the universe, is composed of energy. Restore balance to the body's energy and you will mend the negative emotions and physical symptoms that stem from energy disruption. Tapping restores the body's energy balance and negative emotions are conquered so basically what that just said is that everything in the body is connected right everything the skin the mind your organs there's no part of your body that's its own entity in the EFT practice there are nine meridian points that you focus on the first one being the karate chop which is the side of your hand this is said to be connected to the small intestine meridian the next one being the top of the head this is called governing vessel I actually looked this up because I didn't know what that meant and it says it serves to govern the development of the other meridians chakras organs and the rest of the body's psychology the next tapping point is in between your eyebrow and that is said to be connected to the bladder meridian then we have the side of the eye which is connected to the gallbladder meridian under the eye connected to the stomach meridian under the nose it's another governing vessel area on the chin which is the central vessel the one after that is actually in the beginning of the collarbone which is said to be connected to the kidney meridian and then the last one is underneath the arm which is said to be connected to the spleen meridian all right now that we went through all the meridian points and we know exactly where we're going to be tapping on today let's get on to the tutorial little disclaimer though i am not an official eft practitioner this is just something that i do for me and i hope that this can help you if you want to learn more about eft and see the channel that actually has been inspiring me for years his name is brad yates he has a huge catalog of videos that you can tap on just about anything the tapping we're going to be going through today is actually one that I just came up with that's all about skin breakouts acne you honestly don't even need to have acne if you have psoriasis um, eczema any type of skin condition you can just replace the words acne with that and you can just use this as well so how this is gonna work is that I'm gonna say a statement pause to give you enough time for you to repeat it back you don't have to say it out loud you can say it in your head the most important thing though is that you acknowledge it you take it in accept it and just release it all right so let's get started we're going to start off with the point right here this is the karate chop point i want you to take a deep breath in and let it out just like that all right so repeat after me, I am releasing and surrendering anything that comes up for me today. All right, top of the head. Even though I am frustrated as hell that I have this acne on my skin, I still deeply and completely love, value, and accept myself. Even though I feel insecure about the acne on my skin, 
I still deeply and completely love, value, and accept myself. Even though I feel embarrassed about showing up with my skin looking like this, I still deeply and completely love, value, and accept myself. Even though I am struggling with these scars and hyperpigmentation, I still deeply and completely love, value, and accept myself. All this acne on my skin. I just want clear and healthy skin. Is that too much to ask for? Honestly, I don't think so. I don't know, maybe this acne is trying to teach me something. Maybe this acne is actually a blessing in disguise. Maybe this acne is trying to remind me to be kinder to myself, to love myself more. Whatever the reason may be, I am choosing to accept this skin journey and I am acknowledging that my skin is getting better. And while I'm grateful for the lessons acne has taught me, I realize now that it's no longer serving me. And so I am opening myself up to letting these breakouts go and instead welcoming clear and healthy skin because I deserve clear and healthy skin. I am worthy of clear and healthy skin. I am worthy of feeling secure in the skin that I'm in. I am worthy of feeling confident in my own skin. I have the right to feel happy and secure about myself when I look in the mirror. And so I am ready to release these breakouts. I actually don't need them anymore. And in fact, I haven't needed them for a while now. And so even though I have this acne on my skin and it makes me feel frustrated as hell, I choose to release it. I choose to release it out of my body, out of my mind, out of my skin. It's no longer serving me. I also choose to forgive myself and anyone else who's made me feel badly about my skin. Take a deep breath in. You did amazing. 
thank yourself for being here remember to come back and do this practice as many times as you can like i said the timestamp is going to be down below i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for being here don't forget to sign up for holistically healthy skin the wait list i'm going to leave that down below i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you are relaxed after this and remember this is a practice so make sure that you take time every single day to do it Again, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next one.